Welcome back to Movie Shortens. Follow us today to a movie titled Planet Terror. Be aware, there are spoilers. Now let's begin. Cherry Darling is a go-go dancer working in a nightclub. After the performance, she cries on the stage in front of the crowd. Later that night, she decides to quit from her boring job, telling the manager that she needs a real change in her life. On the way home, some of the military trucks are rushing to a base nearby, throwing her to a pile of trash. Cherry is injured on the tie after the incident. In the military base, a chemical engineer Abby and the team are in a business transaction with Muldoon and his troops for mass quantities of DC-2, a poisonous chemical agent called Project Terror. When Muldoon learns that Abby has more of the DC-2 than what he is offering, he captures Abby as hostage, threatening the scientists to submit all of them to the government. Abby holds a pistol and opens fire at the machine, intentionally releasing the gas into the air. This gas spreads and immediately mutants people around, turning them into flesh-eating zombies. However, Muldoon and the soldiers walk into the green gas and seemingly enjoy it. Abby escapes with a truck right after that. Meanwhile, at a restaurant, a lady named Tammy asks the owner, JT, for some water as her car is overheated. Here, Cherry also arrives and walks straight to the toilet, where she cleans her injured leg. She comes across her ex-boyfriend Ray at the restaurant after that. Terry then asks Ray for a lift home. At the hospital, Dr. William and Dakota arrive at work early. The two don't seem to get along. William treats a patient with a strange wound on his hand. He has a fever and the tongue is badly infected. Another doctor tells William that the symptoms are very similar to the Iraq soldiers due to a mutant gas. Elsewhere on the road, Tammy's car breaks down again. She decides to leave the car and ask for a lift. Suddenly, Tammy is attacked by two bloodthirsty zombies. Seeing a car approaching, they drag her body away. It is Ray and Cherry on the car, thinking the figures are dead deers. All of a sudden, Ray turns the direction, losing the control when they see another shadow. When the two are stuck in a car, they are attacked by some violent zombies. Ray can escape and shoot the sickos, but they don't die and run away. Cherry is left with a ripped off leg. Ray instantly sends Cherry to the hospital. Just then, a sheriff arrives and requires Ray to go with them to the police station for the investigation about Cherry's injury. During the night, there are more and more corpses sent to the hospital with their bodies torn to shreds. Cherry awakens and becomes shocked, seeing her right leg is amputated. Meanwhile, Dakota is called with William to learn about Tammy's body, who William calls a no-brainer. Dakota gets distressed and cries after seeing Tammy. William realizes something and sees Dakota in a room. He takes one of Dakota's syringes and makes her hands numb. He knows that Tammy and Dakota have a lesbian relationship. As William is about to hurt Dakota, another doctor appears. He locks Dakota in a room and rushes to the bodies. They find the corpses are gone mysteriously, leaving the hallway in a pool of blood. At the police station, the officers encounter a pack of zombies approaching. They open fire the sickos but there are so many of them around. Ray reveals to be a professional sniper in the past helping the sheriff to kill some of the zombies. He tells the sheriff not to touch the sickos to avoid being infected. The two then leave the chaos to the hospital as Ray wants to check on Cherry. Back to the hospital, more and more people are coming into swellings and infections. The doctors are unable to handle what's happening. William gets back to Dakota, only to get contaminated by a transformed guy. The town people also encounter the mutation and become the deadly sickos. Meanwhile, Dakota manages to escape from the hospital's window. She tries to drive off with her numb hands. At this point, Ray and the sheriff also arrive at the hospital. As they enter inside, the infected corpses and injured are chasing and attacking both doctors and patients, ripping them apart and eating them. Ray fights with the zombies with two knives and makes his way to find Cherry. Cherry now is covered herself in a blanket. Ray tells her to go with him because the hospital is now in a zombie outbreak. Ray then breaks a table and makes Cherry a leg. The two flee away to the restaurant, thinking it would be safer. At the same time, Dakota returns home and brings her son out of the town. She lets her son hold the gun and tells him that if anyone other than her comes to the car, he must shoot them in the head like in his video games, even if it's dead. She finds the way to reach her father's house and decides to go check inside. However, the son accidentally pulls the trigger and kills himself. Her grief is interrupted by William showing up, having turned into a sicko. Dakota immediately holds her son's body and calls her dad for taking her in before the zombies can catch them. At the moment, Ray, 
Cherry, the police officers and other survivors gather at JT's restaurant. JT shows the group some of his escape vehicles. Later, Ray proposes to Cherry, saying that he doesn't want to lose her again. The two then have fun in JT's bedroom. The movie passes unclear to the scene where JT's diner is in flames. More survivors are coming to join the group. Ray helps the sheriff to cover the wound. Everybody attempts to get away from the flesh eaters. The sheriff hands Ray a gun so he can be the leader of the fighting squad. He then commands the team to get armed and ready for the mission. Getting outside, they open fire to the zombies, but more and more keep on coming. They retreat back inside the burning building and Ray says that someone needs to retrieve his truck so that they can all leave at the same time. Cherry volunteers to go. Ray has to snipe at the sickos, paving the way for his fiance. Finally, the group can get on the vehicles with their weapons. After they break through the sickos, the survivors stop at Dakota's car and pull out a Tony's pocket bike out of the trunk. Cherry rides on a motorcycle with Dakota and Ray leads the way on the tiny bike. They shoot more sickos on the road while the sheriff runs them over with the truck. On a bridge, the group is blocked by a bunch of the zombies. Suddenly, the sickos are shot completely by the soldiers coming from behind them. It is revealed to be Muldoon and his troops. Ray realizes Muldoon, only to be knocked out by the two soldiers. As Ray wakes up, he finds himself in the same military prison with other survivors. Here, the group meets with Abby again and has him explain what has happened with the virus DC2. They are infected, but can use the gas itself to control the symptoms. Two soldiers show up with masks on and grab the girls Dakota and Cherry away. Just then, Abby and Ray manage to beat the remaining guys and rush to the gas base. The two confront Muldoon there. Muldoon explains that he and his soldiers were in Afghanistan. They'd accidentally found and killed Osama bin Laden. However, this was against the government's interest. So instead of rewards, they got gassed with DC-2, a chemical weapon designed to wipe out entire cities. The best way to find a cure is to gas a whole town, then take the survivors to extract the cure from them. While he talks, he has not been wearing his gas mask. So he swells and blisters, eventually is shot and killed by Ray and Abby. Meanwhile, Sherry is forced to dance on her wooden leg. While moving, she instantly hits the man on the ground and stabs his eye with her sharp leg. The man never stops harassing Cherry. Dakota shoots a needle in his other eye, finally getting feeling back into her hands. Abby and Ray break the door and kill the other soldier. Ray designs a gun into Cherry's leg, encouraging her to believe in herself. She steps out and blasts the door with her gun leg. Next. They join other survivors again and decide to get away by the helicopters in the base. Ray drives Cherry in the back of the motorcycle, helping her to shoot all the men and sickos with the rifle. She even departs from the ground and blows up a bunch of sickos. The survivors follow Cherry to head to the helicopters. Unfortunately, Ray gets shot and dies on the way. Cherry kisses him goodbye and grabs a rope from the helicopter as it flies away. One year later, Cherry finally escapes to Mexico with other survivors. There is a little girl on her back, revealing her as Ray's descendant. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this and don't forget to turn on your notification. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.